Everybody such scaredy cats. Hi. There you are. Come on. He's one I want to say he's, this is the one that's missing his leg. I know, baby. I know. We got a little, a newbie. This is a new baby. Look how little he is. He's got a little line going across his back. Cute. So I'm surprised we actually don't have more of a litter. I'm seeing two new babies. Now your leg don't look infected. Looks like it healed up. Come here. I didn't mean to scare you. I want to take that opportunity to go get some more food. Come on. Come on, I'm wanting to see your leg. Oh, you guys stop getting so scared. Come on. I don't know if I've told the story yet or not, but I've pieced together what has happened. I saw this raccoon um, show up missing his leg. I saw it on the security camera and he got it trapped. Somebody had planted a, a spike trap um, yeah, it's not bleeding. Hi. So they planted a spike trap, and what was good about it, there you go. What was good about it is it pinched it. And, yeah, so we have one little baby, we have another little baby over there. So what was good about it is that it... I haven't seen Trixie in a couple of days. It pinched it and it kept it from bleeding to death. And then eventually, look how little that baby is. Eventually the leg rotted off. And I know this because the trap, I found it in my yard. So somebody had actually, um, since this raccoon lives underneath the porch, they, um, They had to have planted it here in the woods. Come on. They had to have planted it here in the woods at the edge of my yard. So this is, I found, I guess so the raccoon, she had, um, somebody had it anchored and she was able to get it up. And the trap has the skeleton foot still in it so it didn't break her bone it got it right at the joint and so I guess it just got to the point of rotting and fell off so it gave it time to kind of heal but my raccoon numbers have drastically gone down, but I have noticed that, um, I've noticed a while back, like a raccoon dead up on the road and stuff, and people do tend to shoot these, but there's not that many, um, that much farmland. It's mostly a residential neighborhood, but I do have a couple of houses that 
where they would be able to shoot. But I think it's just a natural process to have them, you know, do whatever. But Trixie's been around for going on five years now. But she's not out here right now. In fact, there's not a lot of raccoons out tonight. We will see. So that's it for my update.